Before 1978, lead paint was found inside a home, mostly in two rooms where moisture was most likely to be prevalent, in bathrooms and kitchens on doors and windows. Some of the areas that you want to be careful with is when you've painted over the hinges, if that's old lead-based paint on there. Obviously on the low cabinets, what concerns me is I see chipping paint around all of them kind of at this height, which is where if you're fixing food in the kitchen and the baby's crawling around, this is a perfectly accessible height. However, be warned, extensive lead hazard repairs need to be done according to strict lead safe work practices. The cure can be worse than the disease. This is the amount that it would take to poison 12 households. So if you think about it, your last remodeling job, your last do-it-yourselfer, did you generate this much dust? And in fact, the reason lead-based paint was even banned in the United States in 1978 was because you had folks doing these repairs themselves and their children seizured and ended up in the hospital. Containment. You want to set up plastic because you want to make sure that any dust or clumps of paint or paint chips are going to fall onto something that you can then clean up, wrap up, and take out of the home. You also want to work wet. You want to be able to not create dry dust that blows around. Just remember, when removing lead paint, the last thing you want to do is let the chips fall where they may.